Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this AI tutorial, we explain how to install and run locally a quantized version of one of the most powerful models for coding and for agent development. The name of the model is Quant3Coder and in particular we will install a quantized version of Quant3Coder with 30 billion parameters. Over here you can see the main page of the full Quant3 coder. The complete model has different versions, that is different sizes. However, in this video tutorial, we will run locally a model that's relatively compact and that can be relatively smoothly executed on my NVIDIA GPU, which is NVIDIA 3090 and which has around 24 gigabyte of VRAM. The performance is really smooth and over here you can see the questions be, being asked, for example, simulate inverted pendulum in Python. Here is the code that's being generated. And after I create a virtual environment and after I enter this code, the code is given over here. And if I run this simulation, you'll see that indeed this software was able to generate or better to say this model was able to generate this nice simulation that indeed simulates the dynamics of inverted pendulum. Of course, you can use the whole framework for more complex tasks and I'm in, I'm in particular interested for tasks related to robotics and also for development of agents and in the future tutorials I will explain how to use this amazing model to develop code for robotics and code for development of agents. Okay, let's start with installation. The first step is to download Olama. Olama is a framework for hosting and running large language models locally. To install Olama, go to the Olama website and then over here you click on download. Then select your operating system, in my case Windows, and click on download for Windows. This should download the installation file. The installation file is not big, maybe around 700 megabytes. So let's wait until the installation process is completed. Okay, the file is downloaded, so let's go to the downloads folder. Here it is. Double click on the downloaded file and wait. Olama is a very powerful framework and it can be used together with Python, and this will be explained in future video tutorials. Click on install and you'll see that the files are being extracted. So let's wait here. Also, Olama has an upgraded version and this version on the Windows operating system provides a nice graphics user interface. That is, you don't need to run Olama anymore by using a terminal. You can simply use a graphics user interface. This graphics user interface contains also a latex interpreter, contains nice code for formatting, etc. So let's wait until Olama is installed. After Olama is installed, you should see this window. If you don't see this window, you should click over here. You will see this cute icon. Click here, click on open Olama, and this should open it up. However, we currently don't have any model on our system. Another thing about using Olama is that you should get yourself familiar with command line tools. They will help you to better manage your Olama installation, to download the models, and to, to erase the models or to or to perform additional configuration. So let's start command prompt and over here in the command prompt type olama to make sure that olama can be recognized and then type olama list and you will see that you don't have a single model. Let's download the model. To download the model let's go over here and let's search for quen3-coder and over here you basically need to select the proper version. Let's go with this version, Quant3 Coder 30 billion parameters, and let's analyze what's written over here. First of all, let's see the type of quantization we have. Here is the quantization. It's Q4 CAM quantization. This is the standard quantization. And this is the line, or better to say, this is the command line uh, that needs to be executed in order to download the model. Copy this line. However, do not immediately execute it. Change uh, run to pull. This will simply download the model and you can see the download progress. 
you can see that it takes around three or four minutes to download the complete model. Consequently, be patient. After the model is downloaded, you should see this message, you should see success. So let's type Olana list to list the model. Here it is. Okay, now we can use the model inside of the Olama graphics user interface. So let's open it up and let's close it here and let's close once again and then let's open up Olama once again. We are doing this to refresh such that Olama can recognize the model. Over here, click and find, let's see, Quen 33 Coder 30B. That's precisely the model that we downloaded. Click on the model. And then over here, let's ask a question, who are you? And let's see the answer. Meanwhile, open Task Manager. And here in Task Manager under Performance, you can see over here your GPU performance and you can see that the model is loaded inside of the GPU memory. You can see that I have a GPU which has 24 gigabyte of VRAM and you can see that the memory is almost full. Okay, so let's see what it is. I'm a Quen, a large scale language model independently developed by Tongyu Lab under Alibaba Group. Okay, perfect. So let's try to solve a problem. Write a code that will simulate an inverted pendulum in Python. And let's see how this code will work. This is precisely the code from the beginning of this video tutorial. You most likely will have to modify this code slightly. Okay, so this is the simulation. However, we should be more precise and say that we also want to animate this. Okay, so let's be more precise. And over here, let's say something like this. Write the code that will simulate and animate an inverted pendulum in Python. So let's see what will happen now. Okay, this can be a little bit more complex code. So let's see what will got until the end. Okay, so we have animation function, so this will do the work. In the sequel, I will explain how to run this code in Python. That is how to set up a virtual environment and how to run this code. Okay, wow, this is really amazing. Plus you will get some explanation shown over here. Good. Okay, so let's open a command prompt. And over here in the command prompt, first of all, make sure that you have a Python on your system. You can simply type this and you should see your Python version. If you don't have Python on your system, then go online, go to the Python download page and download Python. So let's go to the base C drive and let's make a folder called test code one. Let's navigate to this folder and inside of this folder, let's create a Python virtual environment. So here it is. This is the command for creating the Python virtual environment. And this command over here is the command for activating the Python virtual environment. Next, let's go back over here and let's see what we need to install. First of all, we need to install several libraries. We need to install NumPy, Matplotlib and SciPy. So let's run this and you can see over here that Quen will actually suggest this. So let's wait until everything is being installed. And over here, I copied the code. So I'm going to copy this code. Then I will go here and later on, I will paste the code inside of a new Python file. So let's be patient and let's wait until, until everything completes. Okay, so let's start. Visual Studio Code. If you don't have Visual Studio Code on your computer, I create a separate video tutorial explaining how to install Visual Studio Code on Windows. You can simply go to my YouTube page. Let's create a new file and I'm going to call the file as test.py and let's save this file over here in the folder and then let's paste this file. Let's save this and let's make sure that the file is here. So let's run this file by simply typing Python test.py and if you press enter, you can see that our pendulum is simulated correctly. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.